A team effort between protesters and police seemed to turn the tone of many of the recent rallies in Omaha. This weekend, Omaha police hit social media to thank those who supported both officers and protesters. Police tweeted out this picture of a group of family and friends who donated three truckloads of food and drinks, hoping to keep everyone safe. Despite the heat, tear gas and other elements, groups of protesters still made their voices heard for more than a week around Omaha. But a smaller group of people was on standby to make sure they got the aid they needed to keep their messages going. Reporter John Madden has more on the people you might have missed during the protests and the important role they played. If you listen in closely on this protest, water for anybody? You'll hear a smaller, more subtle sound. We just believe being present when people are going through struggles. And a lot of kids out here, a lot of adults and everything, you know, this is a struggle. Captain this John Gantner with the Salvation Army says with everything going on across the area, he wanted to help those making their voices heard. Salvation Army will show up at almost anything, a disaster or usually by request, but we have water, Gatorade for hydration and we have a few snacks. And on this 90 degree day, he's playing a very key role. It's just exciting to see that there are people that have not only sign making skills and they can protest and donate, but they can donate their time and their their medical skills or they can bring the snacks that people need to survive in hot hot weather. Amy Correa was one of the protesters and says seeing people helping in this manner is inspiring. But Gantner is one of the many who've assisted along the way. Your eyes open. When protesters were tear gassed, people came to their aid with water and milk to rinse their face. Others had first aid kits ready for those with any injuries and their help hasn't gone unnoticed. They've been very supportive um, and it's just one way of protesting and one way of supporting um, supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. Gantner says the death of George Floyd was felt within the Salvation Army and he's glad to help in any way possible. George Floyd, who uh, was uh, killed in Minnesota, he was an employee of the Salvation Army uh, he, 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 uh, in the past. He had worked for the Salvation Army for a couple of years as a security guard right there in Minnesota. So uh, it's near and dear to us in the Salvation Army. Uh, the loss of his life, any life, and uh, we just want to stand up for what's right. In Omaha, John Madden, 3 News Now. Those at the protest in Papillion last Thursday also say the Papillion police chief provided water to help keep everyone hydrated as well.